Hi, Mark T. the Handyman here. Today we're going to talk about a well water pump that is short cycling. When your well water pump is short cycling, that usually means you've lost air in the expansion tank. That's not a good idea. Short cycling a pump will burn the pump motor out eventually. So we want to take care of this problem right away. The job of an expansion tank is to provide an air cushion for the water system in your house. The way it does that is provides an air cushion in the expansion tank to give you a constant water flow and water pressure and keep the well pump from short cycling while it does that. Here are three types of expansion tanks. The first is an air over water expansion tank. It just uses air on top of the water in the expansion tank. The second is a diaphragm pressure expansion tank. That one uses a diaphragm to separate the water and the air in the expansion tank. And the third is a bladder expansion tank. That uses a bladder to separate the water and the air in the expansion tank. Today we'll be looking at a diaphragm pressure tank. I just checked the water pressure coming in from the water pump. It's coming in at 40 pounds. So now I'm going to check to see what the air pressure is at the top of the expansion tank through this fitting here. This is just like a fitting you'd find on a bicycle or in your car. So that's how we're going to check it. Okay. Uh oh. That means we don't have any air in there. That's why it's short cycling. So now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to drain this tank and then put the amount of pressure that's required, which will be 38 pounds. Always two pounds under what the pressure is coming in from the pump outside. Before I drain the expansion tank, I wanna shut the power off to the pump. So shut it off at your disconnect. The next thing we wanna do, is you wanna shut the water off to the building. To drain the expansion tanks, I've connected a hose that goes to the floor drain. Now I'm going to open it up and we'll just wait till it's uh, empty by looking at the gauge. So the pressure gauge shows zero at the uh, gauge here at the bottom of the expansion tank. So now we'll apply air pressure to the top of the tank at the fitting. Okay, the way we're going to add pressure is just through my air compressor hose here. That's about 38 pounds, so we're right on target. Next thing we want to do is we want to put the cap back in, just like on a tire, and just put it on there snug. Um, it prevents it from leaking, but what you need to do is check it every six months to a year to see what the pressure is and see if it's short cycling and add air to it if needed. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up or a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe to my website. Thank you very much and thanks for watching.